What is up YouTube? In this video, we're gonna be trying to create our own Telegram bot that'll be showing crypto prices to users right when they ask it. So let's dive right in. So to get started, what we'll first need to do is initialize our empty project. For that, we'll open our command line and run the command npm init. And it'll ask us to give the name. So we'll call it crypto Telegram bot. And version B just this, Telegram bot for crypto data and entry point will be let's call it the app.js test command we'll just keep it keep repository skip it keyword skip author let's do nice and that looks good so it looks like we did initialize our empty project and let's create the app.js file uh, let's install our first package which is not telegram bot api so if we go to the website let's just copy this command and let's add it to our project like this okay looks like it did install and let's go back to the website and let's copy this basic template and let's insert it into our app.js file and as you can see here we have the field that requires us to insert our own token from telegram and if we do study this code a little bit we can see that uh, it now listens to one command, which is echo. And with this echo, basically we'll say echo, whatever, and the bot will give us whatever we ask. For. And so we can add our own on text commands here. So let's first grab our own token. And to do that, we'll have to go to Telegram itself and you'll have to find the bot called Botfather. And here, when you click start, you can uh, create the bot. And to do this, you will have to run the command new bot. So let's try that. And let's call it next tech for now. So it says that the name of the bot should end with bot. So let's call it next tech bot. Great. And here we have our own API key. And what I'll do is I'll copy it and let's go back to our app and I will insert it here. Okay, let's hit save. Let's try running our app and see if it actually works already. So to do that, we'll just go to our CMD and run npm start. And it looks like we do have an issue with that. And I think that is because we do not have this npm start command in our package JSON. So let's go and check, yes. So let's add it ourselves manually. So if we run start, let's execute our node app.js. Try again with npm start and it looks like it is working now. Uh, at least it didn't crash. So let's go and try our own bot. So if we go to next tag bot, let's press start. And it says that it received our message. And as you can see, this is where it came from. Good, our bot looks like it's live. And so let's experiment with echo command just in case. So let's go here, let's try echo. Test. We did receive the message test. All right, that looks great. So what we can do now is add crypto info to our bot. And to do that, we'll add one more command and let's add it and let's say that the command is data. All right, and as you can see, chat ID is what we'll be using as sender ID. Our match is what was used before since we no longer use this regex we'll just get the message chat text so as we can see on the telegram website under the chat object we do have fields like id type title and other fields so all kinds of data and we can see that there is a message object that contains dot text which will be the actual text of the message and let's do const message equal to message dot text let's just reply to user with his own message if we send data so let's see if that works to to refresh this we guess we'll need to refresh the bot and when the bot is alive let's add the console log to our terminal i am alive and let's hit it with this data and looks like it did send us back so 
looks like we're good for now. All right, so what we want to do now is when the user sends us slash data, we want to send him the actual crypto uh, pricing. So for that, we'll go to the website that is called coinapi.io. And here you can get a free API key. If we go to their documentation website, we can uh, pull exchange rates and we can provide different crypto data so i think for the example we use bitcoin and we can find javascript here get a specific rate and let's see let's just copy the code from here but i would like to add the import at the top here and we'll do with the rest of the code we'll just copy it and let's paste it to our own data here and actually, I would like to modify this code a little bit. So that way, where if we do send a request, we can keep the value in our result. And here inside of our result, let's first console log it. And then instead of console logging, we can use bot send message for this. So let's restart our server and let's do npm start. And here, let's test it with slash data. And let's go to our console. We see that you didn't specify the API key. That's right. So here in the uh, API key, we'll need to replace it with our actual API key. So when you first initially click on get the free API key, you will receive an email from Coin API that will contain your API key that it looks like this. And so let's just copy it and let's insert it here. Let's actually store the tokens on the top here. Let's create const point token. Let's save it here. Let's pass it inside here. Let's hit save and let's do the same request one more time. So if we go, so if we go here, we we'll press on data again. I think we forgot to refresh the server. Let's refresh it. Let's do the same request. And here we do have rate for crypto BTC to USD at this time of point. Let's start with Bitcoin for now. All right, and here we do want to hit result.rate. And let's modify the text a little bit. So I wanted to say the BTC rate as per is and let's wrap it let's hit save let's refresh our server let's hit npm start let's go to our bot let's hit data we can see that the rate and time looks good except for the format so let's format it a little bit and here on the top let's say utils and just create a basic function let's call it format date passing here date string and it will be const date new date date string and let's return date to local string and let's copy the name of the function so let's wrap our result time inside of this function and we'll probably want to do something similar to the rate. So for that, let's open our code. And here, let's add to fix two. Hopefully that will work. Let's hit save. Let's refresh our app. And let's try the same command slash data. And voila, looks like it is better now. We can even try to format our own message so I th i'm thinking if in telegram if we wrap it into stars will it make it bold or no so let's experiment and see so here if we create the options we can uh, choose what kind of markup we want like the keyboard and here we can say parse mode markdown and let's pass our options as the third program here save let's refresh our app and let's see if it did the trick so let's try slash data it looks like there is no 
stars anymore. But at the same time, I don't think this text is fully bold. So let's try again, but I think it might be just one star. Text, so let's try again. Yay, it looks like it worked this time. While that looks definitely nice, what I think we can also do is add all of the different prices besides the USD to BTC. All right, so after digging for some time, I actually found in their documentation, the solution that seems to work is that what they actually expect us is that we pass as one of the query params the filter asset ID, where we'll specify the currencies that we want separated by semicolon. So in my example, it'll be Euro, USD and Ethereum. So, and if we go and check our console log, we'll receive something that looks like this. So Bitcoin to Ethereum will be this rate, then Euro will be this much and USD this much. And let me modify the code a little bit. So we'll be showing our users the new prices since now it's the array. Okay, so this is the updated code that we have. Basically just finding the right currencies that we need and then just printing them to the user. So let's save this updated code. Let's restart our server. So let's try npm start. And let's go to Telegram website. It already sent the message sent from the old request. So let's try a new one. So slash data. Here we did receive the message, but the spacing looks to be off a little bit. So let's go and fix that. But everything else I think looks perfect. So I'll make it one line. Let's just use slash n to do the new lines. Go to the website. And let's try the same command. So let's try search data. And here we do have our rate. And we can always modify our comment to use not slash data, but anything else. So let's say we want to get a custom command. It'll be instead of data, we can say slash message or hello. So basically we can add any rejects here that will be checking for multiple things. And since we do have one command here that is slash data, what we can do is go to our bot father. And here inside of the bot father, what we can do is use the command where we can go to the list of my bots, choose the bot. And here we do have this bot settings. We can set up things like payments, group admin rights, uh, the menu button. And I think we can do the commands can find set commands. So let's do this, choose the bot. Once you chose the bot, it also basically asks us to do this kind of format. So here we can say data, get the rates for BTC as per today. And if we go back to our bot and refresh the page, now we should have this menu button here that'll basically give a hint for users that if we do use slash data, so and we can press it from here, the bot will give us the rates for coin. And let's uh, change the received message for now. We can always modify this to check here that if it's a start command, as we do with data, that be the welcome message and so on. So thanks for watching. I hope uh, this video was useful for you and you were able to see how simple and fast it is to set up a Telegram bot that will be showing crypto prices. And you can always experiment and build something more complex. So this is just the introduction to it. And I just wanted to say thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button if you really like this video.